Fuck up. Yeah, I'm bored. I think it's time for mods. Seven Days to Die is an insanely addictive game, but one of the biggest problems I've had after 300 hours is I need more stuff. So, we're gonna be taking a look at how you can install mods in 2023. Let's get into it. All right, so the easiest way to get mods is going to 7 days to die mods.com and then here you'll have alpha 20 mods and 19 mods. It's super, super easy. All you gotta do is click mods here scroll down and find the mod you want so i found this oak raven forest mod pack and this is the one i'm going to be using personally so all you need to do is just scroll down through all all the stuff here all the stuff all the stuff all the stuff there we go and then we want to look for a download link this is probably the longest one i've seen thus far this is a lot of stuff holy tamoli what in the world <laughs> here's the download I also downloaded B-Dub's vehicles because I thought that was really cool as well. So once you get that extracted here, all you need to do is open up your Steam and right click on 7 Days to Die, hit Properties, then go down to Local Files, Browse. This will open up your 7 Days to Die file. All you need to do is just go back a file, hit Common, and just go ahead and right click and copy and paste your seven days to die file rename it to modded or whatever you like um, just so it's simply easily identifiable go ahead and open that up and put your mods into the mods folder here now if you don't have a mods folder just go ahead and create a folder called mods and then simply drag and drop into your mods folder Alrighty, so you've copied your mods into your mods folder. Go back to Steam and then click Add Game, Add Non Steam Game, then hit Browse, then hit Go Back to Common, and then into Seven Days to Die Modded if you weren't already in the modded folder. And then just go ahead and double click on the Seven Day Launcher. Once you open that up, you will see in here, in your Uncategorized or wherever, Seven Days Launcher, Seven Day Launcher and just hit play hit run and this will open up the game in a new folder so even though you separated the folder in the backlog on steam everyone will be seeing you playing seven days to die alrighty so once you loaded up your game go ahead new, new game go ahead and type in your world and let's go ahead and test it out and see if the mods are working all right, now that we loaded in, all we got to do is make sure that it works. All right, so here we see we have the golf cart here, which is from the B-Dubs Cars extension mod that I added. So it is actually in the game now. We have the chassis, much more, which is pretty neat to see that this is in the game. So yeah, that's how you actually install mods in 7 Days to Die. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the subscribe button. I'll see you next time. Peace.